Hi, I'm Eric Bloomer, your friendly neighborhood tile guy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Spectralock 1 Grout. At the end of the video, I'm also going to be doing a review on what I think of it. I have not used Spectralock Grout before. Um, I did attend Tice a couple of years ago at the launch party for Spectralock 1. I've heard about it. I've seen lots of good positive feedback from other installers with it. I just haven't had a uh, reason to switch over from using Permacolor Select. And I thought on this hexagon tile floor, this would be a good opportunity to uh, try out Spectralock 1 and tell you what I think. I guess I'll start off at the very beginning here. Uh, I am not paid endorsed. Uh, Lady Creed is not paying an endorsement fee to me. Um, I went to the store and bought Spectralock 1, a gallon of it, like everybody else does. Uh, this is just my attempt at using it and see what I think. In the interest of being totally transparent, uh, I do have quite a bit of online interaction with the folks over at Lady Creek. Uh, I know quite a few of their members. Uh, and at one of the tile uh, conventions I attended uh, last year, uh, I was fortunate that uh, some of my social media was presented as a... Uh, something to, to do if you're a tile guy uh, so i was thankful and, and thank them for that but again this is uh this is in no way a paid endorsement for their products uh, i do enjoy using lady creek products i enjoy using all the products that you see in my videos uh, and as yet uh, these are just things that i like to use uh, they're not things i've been uh, given for free to try or uh, anything like that they're, they're just stuff that that i like and so i use them if you've not done so already be sure to click that subscribe button, ring the bell to keep updated with our latest videos. And if you have any comments or questions about this video, be sure to post them in the comments below. Let's get started. Grouting is usually one of the most labor intensive jobs that we do. So I'm gonna figure that that's not gonna change using Spectralock 1. So I'm gonna set the camera up and a fixed location and do the very best I can to kind of describe the process as I'm doing it and hopefully catch as much of it on video as I can. Since this is a new product, uh, I do want to say that the very first thing I'm going to do is uh, I saw the directions are inside the can. Let's take a look at the directions and make sure that we do things the way they tell us to do it. I find we tend to have better success when we listen to what the manufacturers tell us on how to use their products. And so, uh, looks like there's six steps. So hopefully that's a good sign that it's gonna be pretty easy. Uh, the tile has already been cleaned and ready for grout. I've uh, scraped away all the thin set and uh, shot backed up all the loose uh, thin set that I knocked off to get it ready to grout. And so that's step one is to get it ready. Uh, and then it says to, uh, wipe the uh, installed tile with a moist sponge so before i start grouting i'll get my sponge back out and give the tile a once over and i uh, just try to give a little bit of liquid on the surface uh, to help hopefully I'm, I'm assuming that just to make the grout a little bit easier to uh stay not stick to the surface but just fill the grout joints i do want to go over uh, these this is the grout float that i'm going to be using uh, we use this grout float for just about everything. It's a pretty phenomenal float. It does a really good job of keeping the tiles clean as we grout. Uh, it's easy to keep all the excess grout pulled off and I, we just really like them. And so hopefully I'll have the same success using this with Spectralock 1. It is a pretty, uh, it's a semi-firm uh, rubber edge. It does ask for a really firm rubber edge. Uh, and so we'll just give this a try and see. We use these floats uh, for other single component grouts with really good luck, uh, even though the edge is a little bit softer uh, than what the manufacturer recommends. Uh, so we'll spread the grout with this. Uh, we'll get as much of the grout off with the grout float as we can. And then we'll have to wait a few minutes. It says about five to 15 minutes, uh, depending on uh, the temperature and some other factors before we can start using our sponge to lightly clean it. Um, and then we'll have to let it sit for a while. Uh, uh, using a slightly damp sponge on step five, uh, start first wash, do not press down on the sponge. Very light circular motions, both directions for best results. Rinse the sponge frequently, keeping the water and sponge clean will reduce 
Uh, so I do have a clean bucket of water for the sponge. And then after we uh, rinse the floor, we'll wait about 45 minutes to an hour, and we'll go over the whole floor with a uh, microfiber and um, a nylon scrub pad to get any remaining haze off. And so that's the, uh, there's the instructions for this grout. And so I'll set the instructions right there. I'll set the lid out of the way. And the first thing we're gonna do then is get our sponge out and give us a real, uh, just a light once over with the sponge. And then we'll start putting the grout out. And so again, I'm gonna wring the sponge out as much as I can. Uh, it said real light moisture. And so I don't want to saturate it too much. And I have rinsed the floor down a couple of times prior to this already to get the uh, tile clean and ready for grout. As small as this bathroom is, uh, I'm planning on pretty much just starting the grout process. Uh, by the time I get it spread out, uh, it'll probably be about time to start wiping it back off the surface and doing my initial wash. And the first thing that I notice with the grout is that it is uh, already really consistent. Most other single components that I see, I have to mix it up a little bit with the margin trowel or some kind of a tool by hand. Uh, this is ready to use. And so that's, that's kind of a huge, that's pretty cool actually. I am going to leave the tub joint open, Laticil 100% silicone to uh, grout the tub. We won't, we won't fill that with Spectralock 1. Spectralock 1 does not replace soft joints. So we do want to make sure that we keep all of our soft joints open like we're supposed to do. It's a little bit of a thicker grout uh, using the first little bit out of the pail. Uh, it's not horrible, but it is a little thick. It'll be kind of curious to see uh, how it works on the walls. Uh, Initial impression would be it shouldn't be, should not be difficult at all to use on the walls. But uh, we would just have to use it and see. I don't know if other people are over wetting the walls. I've seen a few people say that uh, it likes to sag out of wall joints. Uh, but they may be saturating the walls with initial rinse too much and introducing too much water. I 
At least initially, it seems to be spreading and doing pretty good. Uh, we'll see what, if any, pinholes we end up in the grout as I uh, work my way out of the room. Get a little bit more water on the floor again. That tile is bone dry. I would say a firmer grout float would probably pull it off of the tile face better than this softer edge float is doing. It has been almost 20 minutes since the video started.
Obviously, uh, my first experience with Spectralock 1 did not go quite as planned. Uh, all is not lost, however. I, I do want to uh, share with you something that I think is probably, I expect, really unique to the tile industry. I realized pretty quick that I was in trouble. Uh, and I felt like pretty serious trouble. And so I reached out to the uh, person I knew that would have the answer. The, the problem is this was uh, 5 o'clock, 5.30 on a Friday night. And I don't know what this individual's Friday nights are like, but uh, Friday night for my wife and I is date night. So that's where I was supposed to be at 5 o'clock was getting ready to go have dinner with my wife. Uh, the person that I got in contact with is Ron Nash. You may or may not know Ron. He's the president of the North American division of Lady Creed International, the grout that I'm using of Spectralock One. Uh, Ron is a great guy. Uh, I'm not sure he ever sleeps. About any time I, I see somebody ask him a question, he's always there with a response. Uh, I almost think that it's gotta be a team of people, but uh, the, I, I'm, anyway. <clears throat> uh, a few minutes went by, uh, Ron got back with me. Uh, told me what I should be doing. I, I was happy to read that I was pretty well doing what was being suggested, but that gave me confidence knowing that I, I'm not messing something up uh, by, by doing this. And so a few minutes later, uh, sent me a follow-up text with some tips on what I should do today. Today is Saturday. Uh, and so I just want to say a, a huge thank you to Ron for taking a few minutes out of his Friday evening to uh, help a guy out that's uh, I don't even know. I don't know where Ron lives. I think he's on the East Coast, uh, so he'd be an hour ahead of me, which would be, you know, uh, about six thirty, seven o'clock at night on a Friday when he's sending me messages. Uh, I'm a small-time tile setter. You know, I, I'm not a. I'm not somebody that buys pallets of Wade Creek products a, a week. Uh, we we go through a couple pallets a year, uh, but I, I'm still being. You know, I, I get the same amount or same level of customer service that any of the other guys get and that's why we use these products and that, that's why uh, I love being a part of the tile industry uh, and that gives me encouragement to, to try to do the same thing when people reach out uh, locally to me with any questions I want to do the best I can uh, to help them out because I've got people behind me that, that do the same for me and uh, it's overwhelming and I just want to say thanks and so if you've not done so already, uh, it's kind of self-serving, but uh, I'd encourage you to click that subscribe button, ring the bell to keep updated with our latest videos. Uh, if you have comments or questions about uh, what we did here and lessons that I learned uh, that you don't think I answered completely, feel free to post them in the section below and I'll be happy to interact with you. Um, I look forward to using more Spectralock One. I think it's a great product. Uh, I think that I just had a couple of extenuating circumstances that I should have taken into account before I started. Uh, and so we'll do better next time and uh, we'll be using this again, the Spectralock One and the same tile uh, in the other end of the house in a different bathroom in the master. Uh, and there'll be a lot more tile to grout in there because that's a full tiled shower, a curbless tiled shower anyway. So there's, there's gonna be some, uh, a lot more Spectralock Ones we'll be We'll be learning a lot more and using it a lot more often. Thanks again for watching. Hi, I'm Eric Bloomer, your friendly neighborhood tile guy. I am a certified tile installer located in the mid-Missouri area. If you enjoyed this video, I would like to invite you to click that subscribe button, ring the bell to keep updated with our latest videos, and click the link above to watch the next suggested video that came up after this clip. Thanks again for watching.